beautiful day on the Ashland Hills homestead. We're going to talk about another wild weed that you can harvest around your house. So um, today we're going to talk about pineapple weed and here's a really prime example of it. This is about as big as it'll get um, and it's called pineapple weed because these kind of look like little pineapples, these little buds here. But it's actually just a wild form of chamomile. So I'm going to show you how you can harvest it in two different ways and then we're actually going to talk about three different ways that you can utilize this. Alright, so if you want to do it in loose leaf tea, you just need these little buds. And it's fine to have a little bit of a stem on there. If you don't like the stem, you can cut it down to there. So that's how you want to utilize it if you're doing loose leaf tea. And we'll show you how we dehydrate that and then how you can utilize it. Another way you can utilize it is by eating it raw. So if you're going to eat this raw, I would just treat it like arugula or another green that you kind of sparsely mix in with your lettuce. It is pretty potent. It's kind of like a sweet, more fruity, florally taste. Um, but it's totally fine to just eat it raw. Um, the other way we're going to utilize it is actually in a salve. And I'll show you how I do that. Um, we're going to actually do a mix of lavender and this uh, pineapple weed, the wild chamomile. If you do grow domesticated or cultivated chamomile, you'll notice that this is a lot shorter. Um, the regular chamomile that you would get like in a nursery would grow up to about the height of this or even a little higher. And so if you are growing even the cultivated uh, chamomile, you can just do the same exact thing as this. So um, I'm going to cut about, uh, let's say a cup or a good size handful for our salve. And I'm just taking it right down to about the grass line here. And then for our loose leaf tea, we're going to need a little bit more because we're actually going to just only take the tops off. And then we can just save, the nice thing about that is, even though we're only using the tops, we'll always save it, and then you can use it, you can keep it in your fridge. Um, I'll probably just give it to our rabbits, because they absolutely love it. Alright, so this looks like a good amount to me. And we got a little bit of grass in there, no problem, just pull those out. Alright, and then let's go grab some lavender while we're over here. Alright, so we just have our lavender growing here. We have a lot of lavender on the property. Oh, Yoshi's going to help us. Hey, Yosh. Um, we have a lot of lavender on the property for the bees. Um, and so lavender is a lot more potent than the chamomile. Um, so we probably only need about two of these size handfuls. And we do just want to get the nice tender leaves here and the tops. Try not to get this drier woodsier part. All right guys we're back inside so let's finish up this salve project. If you can't get to your herbs that you've gathered right away you can just pop them in the fridge and they'll stay fresh for you. So all I've done here is just rinsed them off and so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull them out on the cutting board and while I'm doing that, I'm going to kind of multitask. So what our base for our salve is going to be is coconut oil and then also shea butter. Um, if you'd like, you can substitute cocoa butter instead of shea butter. Some people are allergic to shea butter. Also, shea butter tends to be a little bit more expensive. I personally like shea butter because it naturally um, has an anti-inflammatory. So if you are having minor cuts or burns, it just already has extra care for you. So what I want to do is just get these a little bit uh, melted and in less of a solid state. So these are both uh, just plastic jars, so I'm just going to pop them in the microwave with a little towel over top.
So I'm just going to pop them in there for about three minutes on half strength of your microwave. Um, all right, so let's talk about the two different things. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is if you want to use these for loose leaf tea. So we're just going to take the tops off like I showed you outside. So if you have a dehydrator like we have, you're just going to lay them right on here and then pop those into your dehydrator. Um, you just want to put it on the lowest setting. Uh, they dry out pretty quickly, so I would just keep an eye on them, maybe the lowest setting for like an hour or two, and then come and check them. Um, and then after you dehydrate them, you can just pop them in a jar once they're dry and then utilize them with a loose leaf, uh, you know, tea ball or mesh bags or whatever you have at home. So that's how you would do that. If you don't have a dehydrator, um, if you have any kind of screen or even just like a really thin linen towel, you can lay them out just like that. It'll take a little longer, but it still works for you. Um, so, okay, let's talk about the salve. So the salve's really easy with these herbs. I literally don't even chop them up because basically all we're doing is infusing their, um, their oils and um, their scent into the salve. So I'm just gonna go through here and do one last look, make sure I don't have any grass in there or other leaves that we don't want. If you have access to a double boiler, that's awesome. I don't own a double boiler, so what I do is I just take a big pot, fill it with water a couple inches uh, deep, turn that on high, and then um, I just put a nice big bowl up on top. And you want to make sure that the bowl is heat resistant. Don't use a plastic bowl because that would be a hot mess. Um, make sure that you're using a stainless steel bowl. And then what I like for this particular project is a nice um, spatula. All right, so these guys are a lot more liquefied, which is perfect. So you can see here, they've just melted down a couple minutes, super easy. And then we're just gonna pour that right into the bowl. The shea butter usually takes a little more work, but it's soft enough now that I can get it out. And this is why I like having a spatula for this project. All right, so now that we've got that all scooped out, we're just going to let those two oils kind of marry and melt together. We'll give them a stir every so often, um, just so they keep kind of combining. Okay, so those are going to marry together, and we've got 16 ounces of coconut oil and 14 ounces of shea butter. That's a good mix. So we are going to just keep stirring these guys. It melts pretty quickly once the steam bath is warm underneath it. Okay, so we're at the point where everything is melted. All we're going to do now is take all these goodies that we've gathered and I'm just going to let them steep in here. So I've turned the heat down now to low and we're just going to let them steep for about five minutes in here. So while this is cooking, let's talk about the base. So this base you can use for any type of salve. I also use it for an eczema salve um, or a rash salve, and that has uh, frankincense, lavender, and tea tree oil. And the frankincense you do about 10 drops for this amount, lavender about 20 to 22, and then also the tea tree, you are gonna do about 18 drops. So that works really well for eczema if you're struggling with that. But the nice thing is that this base is really versatile, so you can pretty much use it for whatever you like. 
So now we're just going to do this very carefully. And I just have a little mesh strainer and a funnel here in case things go awry. All right. So I tend to like these smaller ones for salves so you can really get your hand in. I've just found if I use, you know, a regular sized jar, it's harder to get your hand in. So you can see it's a nice color, smells great, and we're just going to pour this right into the jar. If you're in a rush, if you're doing this as a gift or something like that, you can pop it in the fridge to expedite the time. The last amount that I have, I actually do in the colander over another bowl and really push all of that out. Um, to get the last good bits of the oils. Um, but I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope this helps you out. Um, everybody stay safe. If you guys like what you saw today, click subscribe. If you'd like to be alerted anytime we upload a new video, click the red bell for a little ding ding.